The way that I teach a kick up to handstand is to start with your hands on the floor. Now there's a number of reasons that I do this. The first is it allows you to set up your hands exactly as you want them in your handstands. Okay, so I like to start students with hands about shoulder width apart, index finger roughly pointing forward, but I want the hands to be active. So starting with your hands on the floor allows you to get down, set your hands up, pay some attention to how they're engaging with the floor before you kick up. So that's the number one reason why I like students to start with the hands on the floor. The other reason is that it's much softer on their joints. So with your hands starting on the floor, you take out the possibility that your hands come down and you apply that jolting force to your wrists and your shoulders. Now, the challenge with starting with your hands on the floor is it can feel like more work to get up. So you're not able to use momentum the same way you can when you start kicking up from standing. So let me show you what I mean. From standing, I have all this momentum to get up to handstand, but also all the same momentum to make me go over the top, right? I, it's much harder for me to stop at that point. When I'm starting with my hands on the floor, I have less momentum, and so it's easier for me to stop at that vertical point. But what if you're not able to get up starting in that position? Okay, you don't have the power in your legs. You're not able to push hard enough. Now, I think you can build that up over time. But if you want to start with a little bit of momentum, then that is absolutely fine. And I'm going to give you some tips on how to do that without hurting your wrists and without hurting your shoulders. So there's two options to do this. The first is to start with your hands on the floor, but rock back slightly before you kick up. Now this rock back allows you to build a little bit of momentum to help you get up. So let me show you that one. The second way we can use momentum is to start standing and step into the handstand. Now in gymnastics, we always start with the arms up and we step into the handstand. Now, one thing I have found is that a lot of people will then slam their hands down on the floor. So the way that I teach it is to start with the arms down, your hands are already closer to the floor and you're less likely to do that slamming your hands into the floor. So the most important thing here is that we get close to the floor and we place our hands nice and softly on the floor. So you really want to be bending that front leg as you place your hands down on the floor. So we bend that leg, place our hands down, and then we're going to push up to handstand. One thing you might have noticed is that I was very careful about where I placed my hands. I didn't place my hands really far in front. I placed my hands directly beneath my shoulders as I stepped down. And what this does is it makes it much easier for me to kick up to handstand. When my hands are in front, my body has much further to go. So I place my hands beneath my shoulders and then it's easier for me to get up to handstand. So these are two ways that you can Use a little bit of momentum to help your kick up to handstand while still maintaining control and protecting your shoulders and wrists from getting sore.